Hello everyone, welcome to my channel if you are new and if not, welcome back. So in my previous video, which if you have not seen yet, I will have a link down in the description, also I'll have it up here and I'll have it at the end of the video as well. But in the end of my last video, I promised that I would do a follow-up explaining what it's really like to work for Amazon, but little did I know that this would be the outcome. I did in fact leave Amazon after literally exactly a week of working there, but I do want to make two things clear before I go into my five reasons why, and the first one being that the point of this video is not to bash on Amazon as a company. I know people that actually enjoy the job and they like the benefits and everything like that, so I'm not trying to turn people away from working at Amazon, I just want to make people aware of what they're getting themselves into if they do decide to work for Amazon. Also, I want to be a voice for people who do work at Amazon because the problems and the reasons that I left were really just management based. So if enough people speak out about this, maybe Amazon will make a change and then the people that work there can have a better experience in general. The second thing that I want to mention quickly is that my reason for leaving has nothing to do with the work itself. In fact, I actually enjoyed the work that I did. It's a lot of heavy lifting and on the feet, so it was like a free workout for me. I'm not afraid of hard work like that, so I know when I was watching videos before I started working, a lot of people, it was their first job and they just seemed like lazy people. That is not why I left, so I just wanted to make that clear. Okay, so let's get into this. First thing I have to mention, and one of the main reasons I left, is that Amazon, or my location anyway, does not give you the materials you need, or enough of the materials, for you to do your job. And this mainly has to do with the scanners. So, for my position as a seasonal sortation associate, you need a scanner and you take the boxes off the conveyor belt, you scan them, and you put them in the right location. I would literally spend the first half hour to 45 minutes of my shifts just looking for a scanner to use and even if you find a scanner to use, the battery would be dead or there would be no batteries left to use. So I literally couldn't do my job. Again, I'm a hard worker and this was something that was out of my control. I couldn't do my job well because the materials weren't there for me to use. Now the worst part about this is that I did mention this in my training video, um, my first day of training we couldn't even train with the scanners because they didn't have enough and at the time I didn't think anything of it, I just thought, you know, they're gonna order more, it'll be fine, but it's actually a daily thing and they know this is a problem, management knows this is a problem, but nothing is done about it. So there was this man in my training group and he literally, on the training day with our scanners, had his scanners stolen. And this is a common thing. It happens literally all the time. You have to hold tight to your scanner because if you leave it somewhere and turn around, someone will steal it from you. Doesn't that create such a hostile environment? Yes, it does. It made me feel almost unsafe in a way. It's like if people are out here stealing their scanners, like who knows what else they'll steal. Sure, we have the vending machines of gloves and box cutters, but how about we get scanners so people can do their job and not be stealing from other people behind their back like that? And the absolute biggest problem I see with this is according to Forbes, on April 14th, 2020, Amazon's worth is $1.14 trillion. So you cannot tell me that Amazon does not have it in their budget to give locations enough scanners to use. That is ridiculous. There is no reason that that should be happening. I don't know if it's a common problem. If you're someone that works for Amazon, let me know down in the comments if this is a common problem across the board. Because if it is, it shouldn't be. There's no reason that that should be happening. But enough about that. The second thing on my list that contributed to me leaving Amazon was the point system that they have. So if you accumulate six points, I want to say, you get terminated on the spot. And a lot of these points are for really little stupid things.
I mean, I get um, some of them are, you know, you leave work early or you clock in too early, something like that, or, or late. That makes sense to me. But I checked my Amazon A to Z app one day and I saw that I had 0.5 points because I left lunch early or late or I didn't take lunch on time. It was something like ridiculous. And first of all, I didn't understand how lunches work. That was not explained to me at all. All I knew was that there were staggered lunch times, but it's very hard to keep track of time because you're technically not supposed to be wearing watches. There's really not a lot of clocks around. You do have the time on your scanner though, but I'm not there keeping track of time constantly. And every once in a while, people will call out that it's lunch. But again, there are staggered times. So again, like my last name is the end of the alphabet. I would always have the last lunch break, but I never knew when that was. So I would just go on lunch when I saw other people going and I would take the appropriate amount of time. Now I knew there was a feature on the app that you could contact HR about things. So I tried to do that, but it never worked ever, like never worked. And I thought about going in person, you know, this was before I thought about leaving Amazon, you know, I was still in it and I, I just wanted to see like, why did I get these points so I could fix this problem if it was on my end or if it was on their end, I don't know, either way, ridiculous. But I wanted to go in person, but you have to go before or after your shift. So the problem with that is that I take the bus to work and I get out at one in the morning. So. For me, it just didn't work in my schedule, so using the app would be nice. And I didn't want to come in super early to work because, and this is my next point, there were COVID cases at my location. And yep, that brings me to my third reason for leaving, which is the coronavirus was present on my location. Yes, I'm aware we're in a pandemic and I'm aware that Amazon is technically essential work but I'm not comfortable working somewhere where there is coronavirus. I got an email one day that there were two positive cases and I was told that the last time that these people worked was the last time that I worked. Concerning enough, yes. And you might be thinking, hey TKT, I watched your last video and you were telling us all about the safety precautions that Amazon was taking. Well, just because these precautions are put into place doesn't mean that people are following them. So oftentimes I was moved to the oversized package area and in this area, people are on top of each other. Unlike the other part of the warehouse I was in, this section didn't have moving conveyor belts. It was more of like a manual push kind of belt. And the packages were gigantic and very, very, very heavy. And you had to lift them and put them in these Gaylords. You literally couldn't do your job without help with, from someone else helping you lift the boxes. And just in general, this is like a tight space for what it is. So you're just smack on top of people. And the safety people that are running around telling you to stay six feet apart and those little cameras that have the green and red showing if you're six feet apart, those do not exist back there. And I think the weirdest thing involving COVID was that I was just minding my own business working one day and one of the people, manager people came up to me and they're like, you want a COVID test? I don't know about you, but I find that extremely suspicious because why would I just take a COVID test if I don't have symptoms? I mean, I get people want to know if they maybe came in contact with it, but the fact that you're asking hundreds and hundreds of people working this warehouse one-on-one -on -one if they want to test, that creeped me out a bit and made me uncomfortable and made me think that it was more than two people that were really affected by the virus there. My Fourth reason for leaving is the treatment of people. They had me fooled during my training. The trainers are very nice and friendly and helpful. Of course, because they're training you. But by your third day, you are thrown out in there on your own and those trainers aren't anywhere near you anymore. And I would have questions and I would go to the trainers and ask and they just seemed so inconvenienced by my simple questions. And I understand a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people work here. So I'm not expecting some one-on-one -on -one love with 
the managers and little appreciation. I don't care about that. The problem is that the way they push you around and tell you what to do, it's very degrading. They will literally take you and throw you somewhere else. There was one time I was all happy-go-lucky, you know, scanning my packages, doing my job, you know, working. And they just came up to me and they're like, you, come with us. They basically threw a pallet jack in my face and they were like, do this, bring these here. And if I struggled with it, because you know, I literally think that was the day after my training that this happened. Quite clearly, I was new to the job because I was wearing the vest and you only wear the vest your first two weeks of working. I only used the pallet jack once briefly on my first day of training. So this was something that would take some practice, especially with these gigantic Gaylords filled with these heavy boxes that were falling all over the place. And my location is gigantic, so they would tell me, oh, take this to inbound. And I was like, what is inbound? I don't know where that is. And again, they would like roll their eyes and scoff and be like, oh, follow me. And I don't know what it was about me or if this is just a thing with a lot of people, but they really just threw me around all the time. I guess I just have that kind of face that you just want to throw me in the most difficult scenario. Another time, I was alone at one of the conveyor belts and I was working really hard scanning, putting the boxes, you know. And then they took me and they're like, come with us go here and I moved to this spot where there were a lot of people working at that belt and then this lady comes up to me with an attitude like what are you doing here this is my spot and I was like well I was told to move here and uh, she also gave me an attitude too so you know lovely people at Amazon it's it's a great time my fifth reason, I joke that it's the icing on the cake, but it really wasn't that big of a deal to me. I just think it's funny, honestly, but, you know, it's a nice little law. You know, it just added to everything else that was going on. So my last day that I worked was the first day of Prime Day on Amazon. And when I came in, they were giving out these little goodie bags for people. And I was like, okay, that's really cool. You know, they're rewarding us for working really hard during Prime Day. When I clocked out that day, I was really excited. I was like, yes, I get the goodie bag. I have no idea what was in it. And you wanna know why? Because I didn't get one. By the time I clocked out at 1 a.m., the people weren't there handing them out anymore. So I worked my butt off and didn't get a free little bag or pencil or whatever they were handing out. That just drew the line. But these were my five reasons for leaving Amazon. I hope this was a helpful video. Now, if you're someone that is watching this before you work for Amazon, I'm not trying to scare you or discourage you. If you're all for working for them, go for it. I know it is pretty good pay. I was right there with you and a lot of things that people said, I kind of just brushed off my shoulder and I was like, nah, I'm tough, I got this, I'll be fine. And maybe you will be and kudos to you for that. I don't want to bash the company, I just want them to treat their employees better because when you have trillions and trillions of dollars in net worth, you can treat your employees way, way better. If you're someone watching this who is currently working for Amazon though and you're thinking about quitting, my advice to you is do it. It's not worth the money and it's honestly empowering to just take a step back and be like, wow, I'm just a number, I'm extremely disposable because Amazon hired me like this and they can hire anyone else just as quickly so they don't truly care about you. So don't feel guilty for leaving. I know people are in financial situations which they can't leave and if that is the case, I hope you can find something better. With me leaving, I can honestly say it was the best decision I made in 2020. Just this week, actually, I applied for a job and a few hours after applying, I heard back and this is a good job. It's a marketing job, it's with this newer company and it just seems like a lot of fun and it's right up my alley and 
it's just I'm very excited for it I'm still in the process of interviewing I'm on my third interview now but I think it's going very well so that's really exciting and that's what's going on with my life now oh and just a little tidbit on quitting Amazon in general, it's the funniest thing because you could literally go on the Amazon A to Z app and if you scroll down, there's a little section that says, "Oh, you're leaving us, we hate to see you go. And you literally click on that and you just quit. They ask you why you're leaving, when you want your last day to be, and that's it, you're done. Easiest thing ever, honestly, hilarious. And the fact that they have that feature tells you how many people are really up and leaving this place. I am curious though, if you currently or in the past worked for Amazon, what was your experience like? Was it good? Because if it's good, I'd like to understand how and why and what your position was and what your location was. If you had a bad experience with Amazon, does it match up with any of the reasons that I left? Or do you have any other reasons to add? Let me know down in the comments below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe and give this video a like. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!